Okay, so we're going to demonstrate the use of an antenna matching unit to get the station ready to make a contact on 20 metres. Some radios, like this IC7300, do have an internal antenna matching unit, but that might not be suitable for the full range of antennas that you want to use. In this case, we're going to use an external one. You can get manual models, like this, or an automatic model. Similarly, some of them have an internal SWR meter, or you can add one externally. Here we'll use the single needle external SWR meter. So we'll switch the radio on and set it up on the 20 meter band. First of all, we'll make sure that we find a frequency that nobody else is using. We are going to be transmitting a carrier while we tune the antenna, and so we don't want to be interrupting anyone else's contact. That sounds clear. We're going to need to transmit a carrier constantly, so I'll change to the FM mode and also reduce my power level to about 10 watts. You don't want to be transmitting any more power than you really need. There we go. We're now ready to start setting up the antenna matching unit. So I'll start transmitting. I'm going to use this external SWR meter. We'll start off by changing the function to the calibrate position and using cal knob to set the needle to the calibrate mark on the right hand side of the scale. I'll then switch to the SWR position and we can read off our SWR on the top scale, which is about four and a half to one. That's not what we want. We're trying to get it down to as close to one to one or the far left hand side of the display as we can. I'm now going to start matching the antenna. And I'm going to use these three different controls, transmitter, antenna, and the roller inductor. And I'm going to need to use each of those in turn to try and minimize our SWR. We're aiming for one to one, which is on the far left of the screen. I'm now going to go to the first control and try and adjust that to see a dip. So I've got the lowest value I can using these two controls. Now I'll come on to the third control. You can see that's slowly coming down. Oh, and now if I carry on, it goes back up. So I'll look for the lowest point and then come back to my first two controls. Each time I'm cycling through the three controls to get the lowest value I can. And here, you can see if I switch to Cal, we're still at the right hand side at the calibration mark. Switch back to SWR, and I'm now at an SWR of one to one. This is now ready to make my contact on 20 meters.